you're now live. Um, hello. If you're watching the replay, thank you. This is my Friday broadcast to Amazon Live, rebroadcast to Facebook and YouTube. If you're watching the replay or watching live on Facebook or YouTube, I want to say thank you very much. Uh, you're looking at my desktop, which is chock full of items that we'll be talking about in the live broadcast, including the Obspot Tiny and the Elgato. And I'm just about to go live on Amazon Live. So press the buttons on my iPad and we're going live on Amazon Live. And I'm going to give it 20 seconds or so to actually wake up. If you're watching, thank you. And uh, getting ready to start. When that clock goes, I will appear. OK, so three, two, one. This is lights, camera, action. And I'm going to switch my camera on and say hello. And hopefully everything is working fine. You've got two cameras on screen at the moment. You've got Logitech Brio and you also have my Obspot. Never go live without an Obspot. And this is the Obspot 4K, which we'll be looking at later. This broadcast is Lights Camera Action with Stephen Healy broadcasting on Be Live out to Amazon Live and YouTube. Now, during the course of the broadcast, I'll be talking about the items uh, that are in the carousel. If you have any questions about any item, then please do ask. I'm here to help. That's what it's all about. This is a free resource from Amazon Live. We're all independent broadcasters. And we come on here and we actually talk about, well, in my case, the equipment that I use every single day. And it's down in the carousel. I think there are about 40 items in the carousel do uh, sort of surf the carousel and uh, come back to me. Now, yesterday when I was broadcasting, I was uh, asked about green screens and you'll see the green screen behind me and it's the Fovitech green screen. And I've had this quite a while now. And today I'm featuring it because it is 22% off. So today it's $77.45. And that's quite a saving, 22%. And I use green screens extensively uh, in my broadcasts on Facebook and YouTube. And every Friday, I come live on Amazon Live to talk about green screens. Because yesterday, on my Thursday show, I said that I would. So here I am. Now, the green screen behind me is reversible. It's blue on one side and green on the other. Uh, you can get a stand to suspend it. Mine is just propped up against the back wall, so you don't always need to stand. Now, the benefits of a green screen is that you can be absolutely anywhere. And on a Zoom call, you can remove the clutter behind you by getting a green screen and then using the green screen to display images whilst you're live. And when I say live, I'm thinking about Zoom, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch and Twitch and actually upping your game. It's so simple and so easy to do. And I can, if I go here, and if I go here, okay, with one click of a button, wait for it, with one click of a button, find the right buttons, the first thing, uh, I can basically change the way I look on camera. OK, and that's it. That's all it takes, just one click. The software I'm using is called XSplit VCAM, and I'll be giving you a demonstration of XSplit VCAM later. But essentially, background removal software removes your background and substitutes another background. Uh, it's also called green screen software, and it's a way of upping your game whilst you're live. And it means that I've got about 100 different images, and I can just go through each individual image. Well, shall I show you? Rather than, I'm going to try and show you. So let's have a go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share screen. So let me go and share screen, and I'm going to show you the software that I'm using at the moment. So if I go to a window, if I go there and go there, and then bring that full screen, and hopefully this will work. 
Okay, so that's the software that I'm using, which is XSplit VCAM. And I'm using it with the uh, green screen that's down in the carousel. And I just want to do one thing, uh, and that's come live. <laughs> okay. Right, so this is the software. And I'm going to show you how the software works. If I click on an image on there, then I can change my background. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm doing is clicking an image and changing my background. Yeah. Now, when you get the software and you get the green screen, there is one thing you've got to do, and that is to go to settings. I'm not going to do it now. If you go to settings and you go to um, performance, is to calibrate. So the first thing you do with the software is to actually calibrate it. Now, I think that calibration does is it works out the best way to actually take your image. Well, let's start at the beginning. This is me. OK, and you can see the green screen behind me. And this is my normal studio. The first thing we do is to actually remove the background. And I've got a warning which I'm going to accept. And if I press OK, this is the background it's actually been removed. Now, as far as background software is concerned, what you're looking for, and uh, I'll go through this, is basically that you still have 10 fingers and uh, the outline of your head is good. This, this is judging the quality of background removal software. 10 fingers, yeah, and no major line. Now, I've gone from the original, me, which should be here in a second. Remove the background. Okay, so the background is being removed. And then the next thing I can do, if I say okay there, is that I have got, if I go okay, I should be up this minute, I've got some software that's in the way, right? I can then go and I can just pick up a background. It's as simple as that. I can change the word I look by picking a different background. Now, this is one of my photographs. This, if I swivel to the side and notice, this is the, how good this software is you, with a background, a green screen, in that I can swivel and you can see the remainder of the picture. Okay, this is kernel locks in devices. And uh, that's where I do my training for uh, walking marathons. So, Every picture tells a story. Let's go on to the next picture. And this is Queen Elizabeth II Gardens in Salisbury in England. Uh, this was created on the occasion of a, the Queen's coronation or within years of that. This is the Court's Garden, which is local to me. Now, the thing about the Court's Garden is it looks like an English country garden. But in actual fact, it used to be an industrial site. This was a factory. And then the factory closed and the land was gifted to the National Trust. And the most amazing English country garden has been developed. And I'll show you some photographs of that later. I live. I live close to Stonehenge. Stonehenge is about half an hour away from me. We went there on Monday of this week paid our annual visit to Stonehenge, a beautiful place to go for a walk. Uh, it's got a visitor centre, which has got a museum showing the history of the last four and a half thousand years and the building of the Henge and how people lived at the time of it. But it is a mystical place. Uh, it is an amazing place to visit. If you're coming over to the UK and you're putting together a bucket list, then a visit to Stonehenge has to be on that list. Has to be on that list. OK, just a reminder. This is working because I've got the Fovitech green screen that's down in the carousel. You need a green screen and you need the software. And I'll tell you all about the software because the software comes with a camera. I was talking about the Quartz Garden a moment ago, about the one that was converted from an industrial estate, and this is it. Okay. Now, as far as the software is concerned, if I go here, I can actually blur my background. Yep. And I can take the blur off again. In terms of the image, let's go to this image. Okay, 
this is the deer park if i press edit then i can change i can zoom in on the image behind me so let's zoom in and i can zoom right out so that you can see well hopefully in a second too far too far too far you can adjust the background yeah and this all works this is all down to the logitech brio camera which is in the carousel and to the green screen and you can change the axes okay so there we are bringing the picture in from the left okay i can flip the picture okay that might work a bit better if i brought it but there's a button down here which i love which is called reset as soon as i press reset up here just a minute Every mistake that I've made has now disappeared. OK. And there is, well, if I go, if I close that for a moment, if you're going to have a background, then you can use any of your own images, just upload them from your hard drive. That's one. So this is one of my photographs taken with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra mobile phone, which is down the carousel. So it's this. OK, so these photographs were taken with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, but I didn't take this photograph and this tells you where I am. Uh, basically, this, of course, is London and I can tell stories about London with this as a backdrop. If I go further down, I can tell stories about another bridge, which is in Bristol, built by Isambard Kingdom Brunel. And uh, I could go to Rome. Yeah. So I can be anywhere in the world. Now, the thing to watch out for when you're doing background removal is the darker the image behind you, the better it works. If you've got a, an image which is light at the top, then your hair might blow in the breeze because it just it cannot focus enough. Yeah. So beware, be aware of that. But if you take a darker picture, then you're going to get the closest you're going to have in terms of background removal. And I just love the fact that I can be anywhere in the world. I can, if I can find it, I'm going to, you can see all these images I can use. I'm just going to use one image now, which is further down, I hope, in my list. I hope I've not removed it. Um, I'm talking and blubbing away for Britain as I go through my list. And I'm looking for a particular image. And the thing is that when you're live looking for a particular image, you can never, ever find it. So I may find it later in the broadcast. Um, but you can see all the images. And I'm just trying to find one image. I'm going to go through twice. And if I don't find it, I'll just carry on. I'll go back to here. This is Salisbury Cathedral. Uh, which is again pretty close to where we live and i'm just it is a brilliant place to actually visit it's the home well they're storing the magna carta there which was the foundation of the laws in the uk and in the usa and uh i'm just looking for a particular video next time i do this demonstration i'm going to pass it i found it the second thing you can have playing behind you, apart from your own images and other people's images, other people's images is this. And hopefully my fingers are crossed. OK, my fingers are crossed that this will work. It's going to take a second or two. But there you are. Uh, we now have a YouTube video playing in the background. And I'm pushing the limits at the moment because I'm sharing this program. I've actually got two cameras in the studio. But still, it's playing pretty well. And I'd like to thank you for watching me on Amazon Live. If you've got any questions about green screens, I'm going to stop the screen share now because uh, this was my piece de resistance. And I'm going to stop screen sharing. And we should come back to me. OK, so if I. Right. OK, so I've still got to see the quality of the video behind me. This is 
a video it's actually stored on youtube um i wish i made with uh what did i make it with in video and uh you can make your own videos and show them as backdrops absolutely brilliant it's on a loop so it's going to go around and round. it's only a sort of 60 second video but you can see that you can you can actually wow people on certainly on zoom on facebook youtube and twitter and if i go back to here just a reminder that this is me and all that was possible because i've got a green screen the one that's down in the carousel i'm also using the camera that's down in the carousel which is the logitech brio in terms of operation it's simple and straightforward all you need to do is to actually download xplit vcam install it add your camera and you can then use it as a virtual camera on zoom facebook youtube wherever you want to broadcast you can have a virtual camera with a background but do remember that if you don't have a green screen it will be okay if you do have a green screen it will be near perfect now things to watch out for foot number one uh now this this is something that takes a bit of practice if you're going to use a green screen then don't move about a lot okay don't be just if you keep still it works better okay not like a statue but just keep still also keep in the center of the screen so don't move about too much that's rule number one with a green screen rule number two whenever you use a backdrop make sure that it is not a, not a light color i mean this if i go here let's just go here and here okay and i'm getting a warning again which i'll go with i should be back in a second okay what will happen if you have a light image as is happening now my hair looks like it's blowing in the breeze yeah now the the quality of background removal software and the camera by the way is judged by the fact that i can move quite freely so that to me is absolutely amazing and i'm going to go to this image okay hopefully i've not broken it i'll be back in a second okay so background removal software green screen is the key choose the right picture and now just the another thing um lighting is important yeah if i were to switch my lights off just let me show you okay because you're waiting for this if if i switch my lights off this is going to look horrible okay because it's dark in the room and um i've only got one light on uh, it just doesn't work what you need for a green screen to look good is good lighting lighting plays an important part in green screens and i've probably blown the system up there because I, I did calibrate everything before we came live uh, i think we're getting closer if i just change the backdrop okay so lighting is important yeah and the other thing is as i said don't have the top of the image being too light because that doesn't work it works better when you have um let's go down here when you have a dark at the top okay now you are going to get tearing occasionally and as i say don't don't move about too much but green screens are absolutely brilliant for actually helping to tell stories and uh i could tell you stories about stonehenge with stonehenge as a background so it helps to visualize what you're talking about green screens are great teaching aids when used in conjunction with background removal software and the images of your choice now let's go over here okay so i'm over in bristol again and this is one of my i'm going to show you a couple of my favorites and then we'll change topic abstract art works well yeah that was given to me by objective abstract art is absolutely brilliant rainbows are good too 
yeah using a rainbow behind you and in fact you can use anything as a backdrop let's just try this one okay so this is my partner angelica who's there and me and this is a show card and i think if i go here yeah this is one of my favorites too okay so throughout doing this we've been using one camera and that camera is down the carousel now it is the logitech brio and the logitech brio is on sale today i think i said this earlier logitech brio is 15 percent off it's 126.99 so let's take a look at the logitech brio itself and if i go here we're actually talking about and hopefully this will work uh we're actually talking about Logitech Brio. I'm going to take my name off now, because that's getting in the way. Logitech Brio is a Ultra 4K HD camera, and I'm just trying to take my name off. Okay, so it's Ultra 4K HD, which makes it ideal. The thing about a 4K camera is it's got a 4K lens, which helps the 1080 and 720. 720 is DVD quality, 1080 is high definition, and 4K is ultra high definition, which is the best we as consumers can get. And as soon as you've got the Brio camera, you can record video in 4K on your own machine. You can then redistribute it to YouTube or Vimeo or wherever you place your videos. And if you make instructional videos, then 4K is the best quality you can actually record them in because everything looks so crisp and so clear. We can't broadcast in full. Well, we can broadcast if you've got the camera and you've got good internet. If you've got a 20 megabit upload, then you could broadcast live to YouTube right now. Yeah, and people can watch you in 4K and people can watch the replay in 4K. The Brio has noise cancelling microphones, um, which means now this is important. Whenever you're looking for a new camera or a microphone, make sure they have noise cancellation. Because noise cancellation, well, you're live on a Zoom call. You're in the middle of saying something really important and your dog barks. And your dog barks again. If you've got noise cancelling software, the only person who will hear the dog is you. That's what noise cancellation is about. Cutting out all background noise, including pets. It's got HD light auto correction. Now, I don't know what's going to happen here, but if I... I've not practiced this, but anything can happen. If I switch my light off, then I've gone darker. Okay, so HD light auto correction. And um, if I switch my light back on, everything I'm doing is via software on my desktop. Whenever you get a piece of hardware, be it a camera, a microphone, anything electrical, then do download the software to go with it. Now, I want to show you something, and this is basically not going to work. This will not work. I'm going to explain. The Brio has a wide field of view. It's 90 degrees, which is pretty darn good. But if I show you 90 degrees, well, if I go like this, this is the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, and this is the 90 degree angle that the camera can see through. Yeah. It can also do 78 and 65. Yeah. So it's got a wide field of view. It is four times the resolution of a typical HD webcam. And this is the first. This is the first 4K webcam I got. And I'm, I'm blown away by the quality of the picture. Yeah. The light adjustment we spoke about a moment ago when I switched my lights off and on is called Logitech Right Light. Every camera manufacturer has their own proprietary version. Right Light seems a good name and it does work. OK, now there are three fields of view and this is why you've got to download the software. OK, now for this particular exercise, what I'm going to do is I am going to switch off my background. OK, I'm going to go here. Right. So we're now back to my office. OK, and I'm going to share my screen again. And this time I'm going to share it with a piece of software. 
Now, this is the software that actually controls the Brio. Yeah, I've got it. C920, 922, 925, 930, and the C270. In fact, most Brio, most Logitech cameras can be controlled by this software. And this is a software on screen now. And the software is called Logitech Capture. And all you need to do is to go to logitech.com. Just need to hide a few things. I'm going to hide that. I'm going to switch that camera off. And I'm going to go this way around. So you can see the software and it's going to, it's controlling my camera and it's on my desktop. So what I can do now is basically if I go here and I'm going to go side by side so you get a, a better view of what's going on. So I'll be back in a second. I'm going to make one change to the way things are working and just give me a second. I think I'm possibly if I stop, no, I need to do take action. Okay, just a minute. I've got a, a slight problem. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this full screen. And I'm going to carry on talking. But while I'm talking, I'm actually going to make a few changes in the background. Um, because we've covered green screens. Anything can happen now. But I'm hoping that what I'll be able to do is in a very few seconds, come back on screen live. Okay, I'm working away in the background and I should be able to come back on screen now. Okay, so we're now we're good. Uh, what I've done is I've switched off. <laughs> we were looking at background removal software. I've closed the background removal software. And I'm now I'm just using Logitech C920. So you're getting a better representation of Logitech C920. Software over there is called Logitech Capture. And all I need to do is to make one change to my studio. Just give me a second. And I'm going to go over here and go here and here. And everything is getting a bit faster now. I'm going to close down a tab. OK, I want to say a big thank you actually watching me on Amazon Live. Really do appreciate it. Uh, we're coming towards the end of the year. I wish you all a happy, healthy and prosperous 2023. But before we go, well, I've only just got going. Um, if I go side by side, using the software, what I can do is I can go to the left. I can go to the right. I can go down. I can go up. Right. Now, those are sort of easy controls to use. But this is the reason you need to get the software. Whenever you buy a camera, a webcam, get the software, whether it's Logitech, whether it's Obspot, whether it's Nexigo, get the software. I'm going to show you now what I would look like if I had not got the software. So I'm going to zoom out if I go here. This is what my office looks like. OK, if I zoom out once. Twice. And go to 90 degrees. You can see. Now, this is what I look like. And just a minute. This is what my office looks like. You can see the books. You can see the Samsung all in one PC. You can see the green screen. We've been talking about it. And if you're with me yesterday, I've I have straightened up the green screen. Um, chess. If anyone wants to get me chess, just say. Um, quite happy to do that. But these are the camera's default settings. Okay. And basically, if you don't get the software, this is what it looks like. If you have the software, you're in control and you can do what you want. So taking that off and going over here. And you can see the software now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in once, twice and go to 78 degrees. It's as easy as that. 
and you can actually determine how you look on a Zoom call, okay? What you show on the Zoom call, because you've got the software. Now, the software is called Logitech Capture. Just go to logitech.com, type in the model of your camera, and it will take you straight to it. The Brio was released February 7th, 2017. I've had mine for two years, three years. I've had no problems with it at all. It is a well-engineered piece of equipment and it does what it says on the tin. It is 4K, it is 1080p, it is 720p. It is the ideal 4K camera. Versatile mounting options. If I go here, uh, I want to take my name off just a minute. You know who I am by now. Okay, that's better. When you get a, a new camera, you can actually mount it either on your monitor or on your PC or Mac or on your monitor, or you can put it on a tripod. Now, the tripod that you're actually looking at now, just let me find it for you. It's probably somewhere in the carousel. Uh, yes, you're now looking here. Just let me move the microphone out of the way and move the text out of the way while I describe this. So I'm going to pull the microphone out of the way so you can actually see it. This is a Loom Cube stand, which is down the carousel. It's $34.99. Loom we know for lighting. Now, what you have on the base is three legs. It's a tripod and a lock. So you can decide on the height of the legs and then just lock them into place. The central tube is extendable from 12 to 30 inches. And on top, you've got a ball joint which means that you can actually put in lighting in here and you can angle it, okay? Now, because this is a camera, I've got it straight, okay? But with the ball joint, you can move the ball joint and angle it as you want. So brilliant way to do lighting. And I've got to say, of all the tripods that I've seen, this is the most stylish. Yeah, it is a brilliant, it's just a classic design. It is so, I like it, what I'm saying. But we weren't talking about that. We we're talking about versatile mounting options and we're talking about the Logitech Brio camera. So I'm going to come back to the Logitech Brio camera, which is on discount today. Logitech Brio is $126.99, 15% off. Okay. So 15% saving on the Brio. Versatile mounting options. In the bottom of every camera is a thread. Using that thread, you can put it onto a tripod. If you put it onto a tripod, then basically you can move the camera about. And the other thing is you can adjust the height so that the camera lens, just give me a second. I just want to do something. Again, we're going over to the software. The camera lens. First of all, I've got to wake this camera up. Okay, so I'm going to wake it up. Watch the lens at the top. Camera is now awake. I'm going to point it towards me. OK, and it will come round. You can see it's on a twin access gimbal and it's coming to me. Now, the thing about that is that that lens is now at eye level. So rather than having to look up, I can look straight at the camera, which I will do later. But that's the Zoom Cube stand, which I've been using. That's the Brio, which is a 4K 1080p and 720 camera. And... Uh, OK, I'm just going through the rest of it. Earlier, we looked at X split VCAM. OK, so. Let's just come back to me. And that was my second camera, which is the other spot tiny, which we'll be looking at shortly. Now, if you've got any questions about broadcasting, then please do ask. If you want any advice, then what you can do is if you comment you will actually appear on the snake, right? Uh, just a moment. Basically, if I go here, I can stop sharing now. If I go here, I want to go over here. Um, yesterday, it's going right over here to the last picture in my carousel, hopefully. Yes. Uh, I am part of the Be Live crew and the top left there you can see Grant Saunders who broadcasts on Amazon Live. Bottom right you can see Nick Wood 
who broadcasts on Amazon Live. Bottom left, you can see the CEO of BeLive, Daniel Meyer, and then you can see me top right. Now, this was a broadcast that took place last night. Um, and the thing you can think about this picture, apart from the fact that there are four of us together on screen and the tip jar in the center, is you can see a snake. Now, if you look at my snake with three circles on it, this has got 20 circles on it, 18 to 20 circles on it. And that was during our live broadcast yesterday on uh, Facebook and YouTube. And I'm, I work for BeLive and I'm proud to be part of the team that put this broadcast, puts this broadcast together. The BeLive crew will be appearing on Amazon Live uh, in the new year. I'm quite looking forward to that and I'm proud to be part of the team. And when we get together, as you can see, uh, it is an amazing time and we really do enjoy broadcasting together. In fact, I'm going to bring that. I'll take that off solo. Okay, I'm proud to be part of that team. Um, and the thing about BeLive, BeLive's engineering department is in the Ukraine, and that's why it says uh, stop Russian aggression, uh, because BeLive have... Well, be live. This broadcast is actually being broadcast via Ukraine, and the team in Ukraine do a sterling job um, of actually keeping everything running in what can only be described as very difficult times. Okay, so thank you to the Be Live crew. And what I'm going to do now is I'm hopefully, just give me a second. I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm going to go over here. Uh, if you have any questions about live broadcasting, please do ask. I am definitely, most definitely here to help. And I'm just looking for something in my studio and I will find it. And I'll put it on screen. Okay, so let's go here. And I'm going to bring this on screen. Okay, and take myself off solo. And this will all work in a second to be worth it. OK, so thank you to the BeLive crew. OK, uh, so the first thing we looked at was is the Fovitec green screen. And uh, if you're watching on Facebook now, you can actually see my affiliate link to actually purchase the green screen. And if you're watching on YouTube now, you can see my affiliate link to purchase Yeah, so on both YouTube and Facebook, we've got links being displayed. OK, now we've looked at the green screen. We've looked at Logitech Brio, 126.99. We're going to look at, hopefully, the uh, if I just go through these, the Fitbit Charge 5. If you have any questions about any of these as I go through them, then please do ask. And I'm going to. How can I do this? Just a minute. I've got something I'm trying to do. Okay. So we've got the fit. Ah, nearly broke my studio. Fitbit Charge 5. Um, and then the next item. No, I can't do it that way. The next item is the Samsung Galaxy S22. Okay. Then I use a gimbal. And the gimbal I use is the DJI OM5 gimbal which is down in the carousel. Today, the DJI OM5, just a minute. Try to do two things at once. Um, DJI OM5 gimbal is 19% off. Now, if you're shooting mobile video, let's come back to me for a moment and just go picture in picture. If you're shooting mobile video, I'll stop the snake because there's nobody on it at the moment. Just let me stop the snake. I'll leave it running. OK. I'm just looking for something. I put it. Oh, it's here. Right. If you're shooting video with your mobile phone, this mobile phone, Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra down in the carousel, one of the problems about shooting live video is that as you're walking, yeah, you're walking along, you're shooting the video, you've got the camera in your hand, 
And as you're walking, you're going up and down. Now, if you're making a home movie, the going up and down is not a problem. However, if you're making a movie, a video that you want people to watch, you don't want that effect. OK, this is where a gimbal comes in. That's where it starts. But if I just show you this gimbal, which is the one that I use to shoot my own videos. First of all, with the gimbal, you can actually put it on the stand. OK, you can have it as static. That's a secondary use. Yeah. So I'm going to put that down there. Then you've got the gimbal itself. OK, which is here now. Basically, you just unhook that. OK, and I'm going to switch on. He said, switch it on if it's powered. I don't know if it's powered or not. Just a minute. OK, I'm going to switch it off again. But this gimbal, your phone goes into the gimbal, but. This is how it works. The gimbal is so simple and straightforward to do. You take your phone. And then you have this. I'll show you that way around. And this clamp you put halfway down your phone. So you, the phone is on. Thank you. I know my phone is on. So that's how you put the clamp on. Then you've got the gimbal. OK, so move two is to put the phone on the gimbal. That's it. Now that is now on the gimbal. And I can now use if I power on. Yeah. And if I go like that, possibly. OK, that's it. That's how easy it is to actually put use the gimbal. And the thing is that the gimbal. Keeps the mobile phone steady, it keeps it locked in place. The thing that you're worried about when you're holding your phone is the movement. Yeah. And the second thing is dropping your phone. An expensive phone, an iPhone 12 or 13 or a Samsung Galaxy S22, because you're using a gimbal, it's not going to fall. You're not going to drop this. Now, the next thing is that the gimbal can reach places that you can't. This gimbal has, just let me go full, full screen. This gimbal has a selfie stick so that you can go up. You can go sideways, either side, and you can go down. Yeah, this gimbal can reach places you can't. So if you want to video at anything other than there, yeah, you can. Yeah, and you can adjust the selfie stick until you get it as you want it. And once you've got your phone on the gimbal, it's safe. And I'm going to show you now a video I made with this. OK, because my talking about is all good. But I'm going to show you a video that was made with this. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to go down here. So let me go somewhere down here. And we're going to go to the Samsung Galaxy S22, uh, which, did, which that's the phone I'm using, Samsung Galaxy S22. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to Show this on screen. OK. This video. That I'm about to show you, which is well. Video uses the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and the DJI OM5 gimbal. I'm just going to change themes. OK. Right. So I'm going to play two minutes of this video. I'll be back. I'm going to, oh, am I, yeah, you're right. I should stop the snake. Just give me a second. Let's see if we can stop the snake because the snake is distracting. So the snake's gone. We're ready to go. I'm going to press play on this video. I'll be back in two minutes. And basically, the Quartz Garden is in Wiltshire in England. Uh, it is, yes, you're going to watch a video about the Quartz Garden in Wiltshire. Uh, it is basically a former industrial estate which was redeveloped into a typical English country garden. I'm going to be quiet now and uh, enjoy. We're at the Quartz Garden and uh, just had lunch. And the 
thing about the Quartz Garden is it's a beautiful place to actually stroll around and just enjoy the gardens. So I'm just going to walk around and I am using my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and my new DJI OM5 gimbal. I've got the internal microphone on the Samsung, so no external mic. Uh, I'll try an external mic next time, but it's just so beautiful today. Uh, it's about 28 degrees and uh, I'm just going to try something here because if I do this I should be able to change the view okay that's not what I wanted I'm going to come down again it's actually stuck isn't it wait a minute let's adjust this this is just a trial okay so I'm going to go like that or like that or like that I can't I've got to be able to see what's on the screen so I can see what's on the screen and just wondering how steady this is this is better than actually holding the phone it's a lot easier to actually grip the gimbal than it is to actually grip the phone so this is a win but there's so many things this gimbal can do and I really haven't learnt half of them or even a quarter of them uh, but let's look at the borders and there are people here today car park was full but I don't think everybody actually came over here but there's just flowers are here in full bloom we are at the beginning of August first week in August and the grounds here are just absolutely stunning you know, the other thing uh, that's important this year is that I've got my new eyes which means that this year I can actually see clearly where I'm going. That's the entrance over there uh, where you come in and then you led into the gardens. There's a cafe just around the corner and uh, everywhere there are places to actually sit down. Angelica's sat down at the moment while I'm taking this video. Um, but if I try and walk a bit faster, the other thing that they said is that you can use this gimbal as a stand and if you get the MIMO software, it will actually track you. I'm going to put that one to the test, but for today we're just checking the stability and uh, the beauty, which is Quartz Garden in Wiltshire. And I'm just trying to find a path which nobody else is taking. Shall we go across here? Okay, so I'm going to go across here. I might come back again in a minute, but see what's through here. And there's nobody. Secret passage. I'm back. Uh, that gave you a taste of the Quartz Garden in Wiltshire and I was using the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and it's just so great. I mean, there's the Samsung Galaxy, which uh, I'm going to look at now. Just to finish off the DJI M5, it is brilliant. Uh, it changes the way you actually shoot mobile video. You're not afraid of dropping the camera. You can reach places you wouldn't normally reach. And it does steady as you're walking. Because the thing is, when you're walking, your, your natural walking style, gait, will actually make the camera go up and down. And that's the last thing you want if you're going to put the video on YouTube and show it to everybody. So if you want to take near-perfect video out and about with your mobile phone, then do think about getting a gimbal. Now, as far as the phone is concerned, uh, the phone that I got earlier this year is this okay this is it's got still got a clamp on but this is the samsung galaxy s22 ultra and if i go here then i can tell you that this is the samsung galaxy s22 ultra and uh, this minute 
Let me go here and here. And where have I gone? Okay, and this is me on Facebook. Okay, because actually, just between you and me, okay, we're live on Facebook at the moment. We're live on YouTube. If you're watching on Facebook and YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you comment, I'll bring back the snake. If you're watching on Amazon Live, awesome. If you've got questions, type them into the comments on Amazon Live. And if you're enjoying this broadcast, there is something that you can do. Let's go here and here. Apply. No, wrong one. You are watching Lights, Camera, Action with Stephen Healy live from Wiltshire in England. And um, we're talking about now the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. <sighs> Right, I had a very old Samsung phone. I'm a Samsung person, and this is the flagship phone. If I go here and go here, this is the flagship phone for 2022. Now, the great thing about it, because I'm talking about it now, is that the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is 869 69 today. It's 28% off. So it's a 28% saving on the normal price whilst I'm live. Okay, this is the thing. Whilst I'm live, there is special pricing. Okay, as soon as this broadcast stops, then the pricing will go back to normal. So if you are thinking about it and you want to get a great deal, then it's down in the carousel at the moment. At but look again, really, it's 28% off today. It's fine. So I'm going to tell you about the phone. Now, a moment ago, together, we watched... If I just go here, we watched a video and we watched a video. Just how can I get rid of that? Okay, I've got a comment coming in. It's ah, wait a minute, it's my good friend. Just let me go here and uh, if I just take that off a moment, let's just have an interlude and say hello to C Bus. Hello, Stephen. I don't know what time of day it is there in England, but I'm guessing it's evening. Uh, you're right, the current time is. Uh, just a minute. Let me look at my watch, which is uh, here. It's 16.54, six minutes before five o'clock. So it is dark outside. I can confirm that. But thank you for joining me today, Seabus. And if I don't see you again before, may I wish you happy, healthy and prosperous new year. And thank you for being part of my Amazon Live in 2022 so i wish you every success in 2023 and thank you and in your honor because you've come here i'm going to put the snake back on because sea bus is now at the head of the snake absolutely brilliant if you comment on amazon live you can ah oh, somebody else commented who's here who's here ah And saying thank you very much and happy new year to you and your family. Thank you very much. And uh, brilliant. Okay. I'm looking forward to 2023. I'm looking forward to a whole range of things. You know me, I'm into live video and into kit and everything. And it promises to be quite an amazing year. So let's take that video off. So you've watched a video which was taken with this phone. You've seen Let's just bring the phone up on screen and hide the video. OK, and I'm going to go side by side. So this is the phone that we're actually looking at. Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. You've seen a video created with it. And if you're watching on Facebook, you now have my affiliate link to the item on Amazon.com. OK, and if you're on YouTube, you now have my affiliate link to the item on Amazon.com. If you're watching me on Amazon.com itself, on Amazon Live, thank you. Click the image and you've got access to the page about this spectacular phone. Now let's come back to me. So we're talking about Samsung Galaxy S22. I'm going to talk about it and I'm going to show you some photographs taken with this very camera. OK. There are various models available. Um, 256 gig of RAM, 512. 
it's got the brightest display that the Samsung phone has ever had. OK, and I can attest to this. I've used this in bright sunlight and it is just amazing. Now, if you remember the Galaxy Note, you remember Yes Pen. Yes Pen is back and it's part of the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. And just forgive me for a moment. Uh, I'm just going to hopefully, he said. Oh, I've done it wrong. Just a second, I'm concentrating. Okay, you can write with it, okay? So you can take notes with it. But the beautiful thing is that if you're in a, a no phones meeting where you've got to switch your phone off, even with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra switched off, you can take notes, save them, and then when the meeting's finished, you can go and retrieve those notes and just carry on. So taking notes during meetings. It has a long battery life. OK, uh, you can charge it for an hour and it's, it's pretty good for 24, 30, 30 hours. Then it's got 8K super steady video. Now, we talked about the gimbal a moment ago, which is basically brilliant. But this has got a stabilizer built in and stabilize it, just keep it steady to a certain extent. Nightography, it has a nightography lens. It allows you to take photographs at night. All right, now, as far as the lenses are concerned, just let me open this. The lenses on the back, you've got 108 megapixel, you've got three time zoom, 10 time zoom, and the nightography lens, okay? It's got adaptive color contrast, which adapts to the lighting you're in. Long lasting battery plus fast charging. For fast charging, you need a brick, which is down in the carousel, and the S Pen. The S Pen is great for writing. It's great. It's also got air gestures as well, so you can use it to take photos. But in addition to that, the S Pen, if I walk out the room with this phone and leave this S Pen behind, which never happens, by the way, then I get a reminder on the phone saying, Stephen, have you left your S Pen behind or have you dropped it on the floor? And I've just dropped it on the floor. So there you go. Um, now, it's unlocked by Samsung. So you can go to your favorite carrier. It's dual SIM. So you've got two phone numbers. You've got two sets of text, two sets of phone calls. Go to your favorite carrier, get your SIM card, put the SIM card in, even I did it, and then you're good to go. And switch in between SIM 1 and SIM 2, simple and straightforward. And I've got another comment coming in. It's size, it's 6.8 inches, WQHD edge screen, so it's an edge screen. I've got it inside the case at the moment. Just a minute. I've also still got the clamp on it. Uh, and it's 120 hertz adaptive refresh rate. As far as recharging is concerned, 5,000 milliamps, milliamps, 45 watts or 15 watts. The watt number, 45 and 15, the lower the number, the longer it takes to charge. Uh, I do mine at 30 and it takes, 30 watts takes an hour. The rear camera is 108 megapixel. The front camera is 40 megapixel. And the camera was released on Feb 9th, 2022. It is the flagship phone from Samsung. It's the best they do best i've ever done and it's available right now and the video you watched earlier was actually created using this phone now as well as being able to the video because of the stabilizer it also just a minute it also takes great images now hopefully over here if i bring this up on screen okay yep okay these are I'm just going to go picture in picture. So I'm going to hide that because we don't need that. I'm going to go picture in picture. OK, and these are some images taken with the Samsung Galaxy. I'm going to take, let me take the border off because don't, we don't need that anymore. Just a minute. Bye. And, oh, somebody else has made a comment. Chopper, hello. Uh, just a minute. And say hello to Chopper and Chopper saying, hey, Stephen, Chop, nice to see you. I did the um, 
I did the green screen review at the top of the show. So if you catch the first 20 minutes of the replay, that was all about green screens. Okay. So this photograph uh, was taken with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and uh, Chopper is now at the head of the snake. Okay, this image, this is um, close to me. Everything's close to me. These photographs are all taken with this phone. And this is Cane Hill Locks in Wiltshire in England, about 93 miles away from London. And um, basically, set of locks, 29 locks in total, longest set of locks in the UK. And their purpose in life is to take a barge from the base of the hill right to the top of the hill. And uh, this was just a glorious walk. Okay, the next photograph. This is taken again with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. This is Salisbury Cathedral, um, which is a place of pilgrimage built in the 12, 11 and 1200s. And it is such a stunning place to visit. And this we visited Salisbury Cathedral just before Christmas, just before Christmas, and took this photograph. You can see that the tree has been decorated. There are people visiting. Um, it is a special place. It's a place where you can just sit and reflect. And this is the reflection pool. This is the font uh, which was installed in 2008. And it is so tranquil, so peaceful. And you can see possibly the water. The water goes out of the font and then down through the floor and then is piped back. And it is a place of pilgrimage and a quiet place to visit. And over to Chopper, and uh, Chopper saying, "Right, thanks." He's going to watch the beginning, and uh, I have to come over and see. Yep, brilliant. You will have to come over. I mean, this is beautiful part of the world. And if you get to my part of the world, just give me, give, let me know. So this is Salisbury Cathedral, and these images are taken with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. I'm not sure what the next one is. Uh, this is the local canal, and this is my partner Angelica walking along the canal. And this you possibly saw earlier. This is the quartz garden. All these photographs have actually been um, my profile, or no, my images on Facebook. And this this place we're looking at now. Let's just take this off so you can actually see it. And I'm going to be tempted now to actually just turn off the snake. OK. This image again taken with this phone. This is Roundway Hill in the background. Underneath the white fluffy clouds is Roundway Hill. And Roundway Hill was the scene of a battle during the English Civil War in 1643. And it was Roundheads versus Cavaliers and a running battle, horses, infantry, and uh, cannon took place in 1643. The battle was won by uh, the royals, but unfortunately, when they shot, when they used cannon in those days, they weren't always accurate. And one of the cannonballs went from the battlefield and it hit St. James's Church in Devizes. And you can still see the mark that the cannonball left in the church wall. No damage done to the church, apart from a few chips out of the wall, out of external wall. Uh, but it is, as I say, Randwear Hill, a place for a battle in 1643. I'm not sure what's coming up next. Right, we looked at this picture earlier. This, again, these photographs, these images are taken with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra because it has 8K video and 8K images, and the quality is just breathtaking. And this is Kennel Locks from the other side, um, and this is where I do my training, my marathon walking. And this is a lock. This is a lock on Kennel Locks, and the barge comes in at the bottom and then goes through the locks and has been lifted. Okay, and the next picture, uh, this was during the summer, and uh, 
seems so long ago now, but this is our local park, Hillworth Park, and the, we have a town band, and the town band were playing on the day. This is the Quartz Garden again. Just a couple more and we'll finish. These are the penguins. And I was about 30 foot away from, from the penguins. I was able to zoom in using the 10 times zoom and take this photograph. And we can't leave. This, this is my hometown. This is Devizes. And this is the main street. I just like the composition of this. The cars, the no parking yellow lines, and then the shop with its goods outside. And again, just stunning photography with the Samsung Galaxy. That's all right. Okay. We've got to the end of my photograph photographs. Um, I'm going to go with that one and go here. Okay. So with this phone, you can take 8K photographs. Absolutely stunning photographs. You can take 8K video. You can run all your Android apps as normal. And it does have a long battery life. 256 gig or 512 gig of RAM. And it's a Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. It's my phone of the year. It's probably my phone of next year as well. Um, but I just love the phone. I use it. Well, it's my constant companion. Because in the morning, 11.30 every day. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go down into the carousel. And we're going to go here. So I'm going to find something. I know it's in here somewhere. Probably not where I left it. No, hang on. I think I've missed it. Let me just put this on screen again. So that's the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. And what we're going to look at now, hopefully... I just need to find something. All right. We're going to look at uh, it's next to the obvious spot tiny. Okay. Let's go here. Yeah, I found it. Okay. We're going to look at these now. And I'm going to go here. Here. I need to change something. Just a second. Don't go anywhere. Um. I'm going to change there. I think that might work. Okay. Um, now I'm going to change back again. Just getting some thinking time. Every morning at uh, 11.30, yeah, 11.30 a.m., I put these headphones on, which are the Aftershocks headphones, which are down in the carousel now. And uh, I'm going to tell you a story about them. So just give me a minute. Just give me a second. I'm still here. I've not gone anywhere. I'm just making some adjustments. And it will be worth it. Okay. Because what I'm going to do is talk about these headphones. But I don't want to talk about these headphones sat down. We're actually looking at... Uh, Two things. The first one is the Obspot Tiny camera, which is that one. Okay, so we're going to look at the Obspot Tiny. I'm going to hide that photograph now. We're looking at the Obspot Tiny camera. We're also looking at the Aftershocks earbuds. Okay, so you're looking, you're looking at the Obspot now with my headphones. What I want to do though, to actually present these, is I want to stand up. Okay, now one of the things about the Obspot camera, which is down the carousel at the moment, is the fact that it allows me, during the course of a demonstration, to stop sitting down and just stand up. So we're looking at two things. We're looking at the Obspot tiny camera, which is following me as I move, and we're looking at these. Because at 11.30 every morning, come rain or shine, I take my mobile phone, I switch these headphones on, Aftershocks Aerapex, and hopefully it will work. Right, 
Okay, if I go here, I, basically I pair my headphones and just give me a second. Oh, I've taken the wrong turn, just a minute. This is a live demonstration, anything can happen. Thank you for thank you for watching me. Let's go to connected devices and uh, go to Bluetooth connections, Bluetooth, and hopefully, you know, you have those moments when things don't go exactly according to plan. Uh, it's not going to. These headphones are connected with my desktop. Normally, they connect with this phone. Just take it. I take this phone. I take my Fitbit Charge 5. At 11.30, I go out and I go walking. And I walk for five miles every day using these headphones. And I'm going to switch to the headphones now. And I'm going to sit down. Okay. Because the next part of the demonstration... I'm going to be over here. So let me just take that and take that. I'm going to take you over to the desktop whilst I sit down. Okay. Oh, okay. So we're back over here and we're back to me. Okay. So the headphones. I think first thing you notice about the aftershocks is that they're lightweight. I can wear these headphones for two to three hours. Just forget I'm wearing them. They're so brilliant light they go over your ears so they don't go in your ears so they're not going to irritate you at all you're also not going to lose them yeah they're waterproof i go out walking and i'm in the uk and it rains and it rains and it rains so waterproof don't go swimming with them but you can walk run jog or cycle with them they're ideal and made for outdoors now the technology is patented what happens is the vibrations from the speakers here go through your cheeks to your ear canal. Now, it's not hi-fi, but it is great sound. When I go out and I'm listening to Led Zeppelin or Def Leppard, the sound is absolutely brilliant. And I can take a phone call by pressing one button. I can make a phone call with voice dial. I can skip a track. I can increase volume, decrease volume, all within the headset. It weighs less than a bag of chips or a bag of crisps, as we say in the UK. And they are very high quality. Aftershocks respected company. If you click the link in the carousel, you'll find a lot of the products that they actually do. Uh, and there's a full range. I was fortunate, uh, if I go back here, I was actually fortunate uh, to be able to go to a running show. Okay. And go to this nine o'clock tomorrow morning and Gallagher and I will be doing a park run yeah now park run is 5k nine o'clock in the morning 150 people meeting in a park and going for a run 5k 3.1 miles and I which it's our way of keeping fit and tomorrow is our 11th um one I'm really looking forward to it it's a spectacular part of our week because you're actually racing, but not you're not racing 150 people. You're just racing yourself, really. And as I'm going around the 5K, I actually listen to rock music. And that keeps me moving faster. At least that's what I tell myself. Yeah. Now, the thing about these is because they're not in your ear, there's a safety feature. Okay. With these on, you can turn to the person you're talking to and you can hear what they say. The other thing is, you can hear the traffic all around you. You can see it in front of you, but you can hear the traffic behind you. You can also hear a cyclist coming up as well. They are great as far as for safety. Yeah. And I wear these at least 10 hours a week. And they are very comfortable to wear, lightweight. They, they, I'm not going to lose them. And my ears don't get irritated because there's nothing in there. So for sports, for walking, running, jogging, and cycling, these aftershocks weigh 26 grams. You've got all the controls built in, great quality sound. There are different models. If you click the link in the carousel, you'll find out more about those models. And uh, 
they're my favorites what can i say i mean this is my second pair of aftershocks okay right uh where can we go next is the question now i'm quite happy to answer any questions about anything that's down the carousel if you're watching on facebook thank you you'll have the links to the products and on youtube you've got the links to the products and um if you're watching on amazon just click the image in the carousel thank you uh for watching on amazon uh if you've got any questions i mean the thing is the thing is this is a free resource okay this resource has been arranged by Amazon.com. Thank you, Amazon.com. There are over 2,000 broadcasters, and you have the opportunity now to ask any questions about Amazon products and do it live. If you look at an Amazon.com page, you've got the written reviews, you've got the video reviews. This is the next step. This is 2023. This is being able to ask somebody who knows what they're talking about live and we've got all sorts of expertise we've got mechanics we've got plumbers we've got chefs we've got artists we've got writers we've got you name it and they're on amazon live and we don't work for amazon and the reviews that we give you are our reviews of products we own if you pick an item in the carousel i can show it to you simple as that because i use it on a regular basis so you're getting reviews from people who actually use the kit that's in their carousel. You're also getting, hopefully, helpful advice, as I gave on the green screens earlier today, and the opportunity to ask questions live. Now, as far as being a broadcaster is concerned, this is amazing to be able to broadcast on the world's third largest website. It doesn't get any better than that. I, this, is, this is the pinnacle, and I've got... A Question coming. Jason. Good afternoon, Stephen. You're so right. And thank you for sharing your expertise and reviews. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for thank you for everything, Jason. I, I just want to take a moment. I, Jason, I want to wish you and your family a happy, healthy, and prosperous new year. And may you have every success in 2023. Thank you for being part of my 2022 and brightening up my Amazon live shows. Thank you for the questions and well, I love I love live video for actually making friends, and we're able to make friends around the globe. We may never meet, but we know of each other, and uh, that's the brilliant thing to actually connect with people. And 2023 is the year of networking, the year of connecting with people. And Amazon Live, I'm just want to say thank you to Amazon for actually arranging this because I just have the best time ever actually going live and just talking. Well, first of all. You can't stop me broadcasting. I love broadcasting. I showed you a photograph earlier. Uh, if I can just find it. Just a minute. Yeah, I showed you this photograph. And this is the Be Live crew. And top right is me. Top left is Grant Saunders, Amazon Live broadcaster. Bottom right is Nick Wood, Amazon Live broadcaster. And there on the left, you have the producer of the show who also happens to be the CEO of Belive. And Belive, let's come here, Belive is the system that I'm broadcasting on today. Okay, if I put the logo, no, I want to go side by side. Can't do that to Daniel. And if I just change things up a little bit, I'll tell you, I've seen your comment, Jason, it won't be a minute. If I go here, apply, and I go here, a minute all right a minute i had it oh there it is i thought i lost it for a moment that's be live i'm broadcasting on be live which means i can have up to eight different things on screen at the same time over to jason and uh, jason is saying thank you sir the same to you thank you very much and uh, absolutely brilliant now, I was, oh, that's what I was talking about. I distracted myself then. If you comment on Amazon Live, I get to see your name and possibly your picture, but I never get your contact details. Yeah. So it's not the only person, who's, the only company that's got your details 
and keeps your details. Just a minute. Let's just shrink the guys. Let's go over here and shrink the guys. I'm sure they won't mind. OK, only Amazon have got your details and they guard them closely. We never get your details. So if you comment on any Amazon live broadcast, then your details don't come to the broadcaster at all, ever. Yeah, we just get to know your name and your picture. Um, I want to say a big thank you to everybody for actually watching me live today. As I say, I totally enjoy being on Amazon Live. I feel, well, I feel, I'm, yes, I feel it awesome being on Amazon Live. I've enjoyed your company today. Uh, as was said earlier by C, Bus, uh, it is it was dark outside in the UK. Uh, I want to wish you three things. One, enjoy the rest of your day. Two, take care. And from England, I wish everyone watching live with you, well, especially if you're on Amazon Live, I wish you a happy, healthy and prosperous new year. Thank you for being with me on Amazon Live in 2022. Take care. Goodbye for now.